Hey, what are you doing? Hi. Um, it's 5.30 on a Sunday afternoon? Yes, I am just responding to a few emails because, you know, work never stops. It's not this morning. What did we do? We went exploring. That's true. We went and explored some pyramids. Actually, um, put it in here. Yeah, let's put that in. Sure. I want you more than money. I want to float on downstream. Go and find my wild dreams. Yeah. Okay, thank God. Really tough. <laughs> you made it. I'll be burned by your flame. Oh. Ups and downs, no in between. Fire and ice, burn gasoline. You know I love it. You know I love it. So there's this dog that lives up here and I love him so much. Look, he's just like guarding the pyramids. <laughs> This is maybe the coolest thing ever. We are on a boat right now, and basically there's like seats, and you have drinks, and you have food, and you just kind of cruise around, and there are so many boats doing it as well. <laughs> As we had friends in town which meant we got to go and explore and do some some of the funner activities I think here in Mexico City so that was really great but when it came time to get back into work that's when the struggles began so honestly I would say that this week overall was quite a blah week we struggled to get into work so we keep like trying to change up our environment um, and then we were like, you know what, let's just go to the movies. So there was a lot of like that happening, but we did our best. Um, but this week I wanted to talk about something I found myself doing a lot, and that is falling into the comparison trap. I try not to do it, but you know, I think it's only human to, to do it. And especially with the way social media is nowadays, you know, we're just like bombarded every single day with everyone's highlight reel. So that can make things really difficult. And especially when you have a goal that you're working towards, and you just see other people accomplishing what you want to seemingly like easily, you know, just kind of like floating around and just checking things off of their to-do list. So I have made a commitment to myself though to not do this anymore. I'm, I'm just over it. I don't think it benefits us in any way. Actually, that's not true. I will explain the benefit to this, um, but I'm really going to stop falling into that trap and letting... Um, it make me feel bad. So I want to invite you to do that with me as well. Let me know in the comments if you are also going to commit to not falling into this trap and comparing yourself. So the reasons for this, the first reason is that we don't know the whole story. That is super important. We're all starting from so many different points. You might be coming into someone's like midpoint of the story and we also don't know where they started from, right? They could be, they could have started with so many more advantages that you didn't start with. For example, when I first started, I had really supportive parents. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Everyone's walking around us, which is so sweet. I had really supportive parents when I first started. They're obviously still super supportive and they let me live in their basement while I was trying to build my business. So that is an advantage that I had that maybe you don't have. So point being, we don't know the whole story. But now let me explain why it is beneficial. I think it is very beneficial to have these examples of success shown to us because it's really just the universe, whatever you wanna call it, showing you what is possible for you. So that is like the real positive flip side of this because you're seeing it, like you're getting evidence that, okay, if they can do it, so can you. So I like it for that reason, I like it because it confirms what I'm trying to do is possible. 
and that's great and that's exciting. That's what we should be focused on. We should be focused on looking at it as evidence for what we can accomplish and not let us make it, not let it <laughs> make us feel like crap because that is not helpful at all and it's not gonna speed up us getting to where we wanna be. So I hope that this helps. I love you guys. I hope you had a wonderful week and I'll see you next week with another one. And don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah. Um, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. We put out tech tutorials every Monday and Wednesday and we do these vlogs every single Friday, always making sure to uh, include some value in there for you. So yeah, definitely subscribe, join the fam, and we'll see you next week with another video. We, I don't know why I'm saying we, that's a bit confusing. <laughs> Wait, I'll do it again. Um,